Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, so I usually don't cover news stories that happen in other countries just because I don't live there and I don't really hear about them. But uh, I do pay a lot of attention to China and some of the places I go to get news updates for China had this, um, which was really fucking crazy. This is the footage. A few days ago, a bus drove off the road and into a reservoir, killed 21 people, and they're just now figuring out why. So there goes the bus. Off the road, down, there, these are steps right over here to the side, and then it just goes into a reservoir. There's no footage of it going into the reservoir, but there's footage like right after it submerses itself. So it goes down all these, and into this. I don't remember how many people were in the bus, but 21 died, right? The guy did the... We don't know, obviously, but it seems to be that the guy did this intentionally because of the Chinese government. And you're like, oh, what the fuck are you talking about, man? I, like, why would he attack a bunch of people, not attack, kill a bunch of people, and drive into this uh, to, to get back at the government? Okay, check this out. Da, 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 da. An update on the unusual traffic accident in China reported earlier this week. Chinese internet users are speculating that a social injustice issue was behind the crash. Now, a local media report seems to support the claim. On Tuesday, a bus in China slowed down while driving along a busy road. It abruptly made a turn, crash into a fence, and fell into a reservoir below. Authorities say 21 were killed. Following the accident, suspicion about its cause arose online. A screenshot from Chinese social media app WeChat says the local government previously attempted to demolish the bus driver's house, a common occurrence in China when the government decides to use residence land for new projects. Okay, so the government in China is really, apparently, they're really, really bad about taking land from people and moving them into other places, land that they've had for a long time, or just not giving them a proper recompense for taking their land. And apparently it's started switching from the poor to the middle class now. And I think this is one of the examples we're seeing where it is starting to hit a, a higher income bracket of people in China. The day that this dude drove the bus into the lake, reservoir, whatever, they demolished his home. Chinese news media Caixin Weekly has since interviewed people who knew the driver. One resident identified the house where the driver Zhang Baogang lived. The neighborhood has also been demolished. Among what's left are piles of bricks, buried sofas, beds, and televisions. The resident said Zhang had lived in the neighborhood for many years. Right before the incident, he had been living somewhere else, but still kept his old apartment. Zhang's house was demolished the morning of July 7th, the day of the accident. He rushed over after he learned of the demolition, but wasn't allowed to enter the area. Two hours later, he drove the bus into the reservoir. Good job, China. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know the specifics of what goes on in your country and why you do this, or if you're allowed to do this, or, or what's happening, but... As far as I'm concerned, you're a shithole fucking country with a shithole fucking government, and it's now gotten 21 people killed. Uh, I have a feeling that he did this for the simple fact that him complaining about it wasn't going to get anything done, and so he decided to make a big tragic event so people would find out why he did it, which is fucking horrible. You're a piece of shit for driving 21 people in the bus. You should have waited until the bus was empty. And then drove it into the lake and destroyed a bunch of, like, property or something like that. Even then, I don't really think that's right because you're not, like, unless it was government property and that's who you're mad. But, like, I still, like, this isn't the way to go about it. So, I don't know. Just thought it was crazy. I figured I'd bring it to you. We'll see you in the next one.